Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I have been busy on uh, school holidays, spending time with my family and my new doggy. Um, so I'm back. I'm back to film a new video for you guys about what I got for Christmas, a few life updates and um, some updates on my new home build. So what did I get for Christmas? I got some Tiffany's. So if you have seen my last video you would know that i had some dramas at cartier and tiffany if you haven't seen that video i will link it in the description below but basically i went to purchase my christmas present being a chain necklace i wanted one from cartier i made an appointment i got there they pretty much didn't know i was coming didn't know anything about it super unhelpful didn't have anyone to look after me and i ended up getting like the girl from out the back to serve me so um, that was a really awful experience um, and I was really put off so then I went to Tiffany's to purchase um, the necklace that I wanted had a really awful experience there too the guy that served me was completely useless and was not listening to what I was asking for so I was like you know what I've had it I don't even want to buy anything jumped in our car drove an hour back to another store to try and get a nice experience at Tiffany's and luckily I did um, and I ended up making a purchase so this is what I got for Christmas um, obviously we're building a house so I can't splurge and buy heaps of stuff so um, I wanted this as a starting point and then I want to add to it so I'll get into that and we'll unbox this together and then I'll uh, tell you all about it okay so for Tiffany's, they have this really nice uh, Christmas red wrapping. Sorry, excuse my dog uh, eating a toy down there. So they have this really beautiful wrapping. Obviously, I already opened it, so I just tried to sort of reenact it for you. But it says Warhol and Tiffany & Co. So this is the wrapping I got for Christmas. So let's unbox this together. It is a really nice box from Tiffany's. Oh, it's open. So this really nice sort of box. Let's open it. So what I got was 18 karat rose gold beaded chain. Now I tried to find information and reviews on YouTube and all over the place of this chain and I couldn't find any. So I thought what better topic than to do a review for you guys and show you all of the details of it. So this box is just beautiful. It's a really, really pretty box from Tiffany and it's really, really soft. It's almost like, I mean, it's soft like suede, but it's not suede. So here is the necklace here. This here is just like black satin. This is suede. And you just pull this part out. And in the back is the necklace. So the one I got was 20 inches long and I will put it on to show you where it sits on me. So I really wanted a chain but I didn't want a super delicate chain. I feel like a lot of the chains all look the same so this one's a little bit different, a little bit more eye catching. I'm very red today, I've been out in the sun a lot because I've been on school holidays and swimming every day so just excuse my red neck but this is what it looks like this is where the 20 inch sits and my plan for this necklace is to get a tiffany diamond key to sit on it so i wanted it to sit a little bit lower all of my other necklaces are sort of between 16 and 18 inches so this one is 20 so it does sit a little bit lower you know since I've had this necklace, I've worn it every single day. I haven't taken it off and I literally can't even feel it on my body at all. I've slept in it. It hasn't bothered me one bit. It does look really nice and shiny when you're out in the light. All the beads sort of catch the light and it looks really beautiful. So that is my idea for this necklace. In Australia, it retails for 910 Australian dollars. So this is what it looks like. 
you can see how sparkly the beads are so when you're outside in the sunlight the light kind of hits on every little bead and it gives off a really beautiful sheen it's dainty but not too dainty and it definitely feels really sturdy and hard wearing like I don't have any worries that this is going to snap or break off there isn't an option to adjust the size on this one. Uh, you can get Tiffany's to add or remove links. This chain also comes in 16 inch, 18 inch, 20 inch, and maybe even longer than that. So there is a variety of different lengths to choose from. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a comparison between a few of my different necklaces so that you can see how the chain looks. So as you can see, I have my Van Cleef and Arpels gray mother of pearl necklace here. And this is what Van Cleef and Arpel's chain looks like. Their chain has lots of different facets, so it's really sparkly in the sun. And then this is my new Tiffany & Co beaded necklace beside it. And then here I have my Tiffany & Co diamonds by the yard necklace. So as you can see, the chain for this one is really dainty in comparison to the beaded chain. So this one's the Van Cleef & Arpel's. This one is my new Tiffany beaded chain, and this one is my Tiffany diamonds by the yard. Now I feel like I have all these necklaces and I don't wear them because I can feel them on. So this one specifically I wanted something really quite lightweight and uh, minimalistic so that I wouldn't feel it and it wouldn't annoy me and I wouldn't want to take it off. So this one has been perfect for that. My Van Cleef and Arpels one I do really like, but I don't tend to wear it that much. Uh, same with my Tiffany & Co Diamonds by the Yard. That one sits very high because it is 16 inches and it does turn a little bit. So I like it, but I don't like it for daily wear. So I feel like this sort of chain is perfect for every day. They do have a number of different chains at Tiffany's. Same with Cartier. They have a number of different chains that are all varying sort of uh, lengths, but very similar. The other one that Tiffany's had was very, very dainty and I didn't want something so dainty. I didn't want something that uh, I feel like was too dainty and could potentially, you know, get caught on something and break. So this one definitely feels heaps more sturdy. As you can see, it just has a basic hook closure on one side. Here it says Tiffany & Co. And on the other side, it says AU750. Okay, so I've just put my two Tiffany necklaces on together. This one is the Diamonds by the Yard necklace. And as you can see, this one sits at 16 inches. And this is my new Tiffany beaded chain. And as you can see, this one sits at 20 inches long. And now I have just added my Van Cleef & Arpels Vintage Alhambra Grey Mother of Pearl necklace. So that you can see the different lengths. So this one is 18 inches, sits about here. This one is 20 inches and this one is 16 inches comparison of all the different length chains and in other news I got a dog her name is Emerald, Emerald. This is so I've been busy working on a new project I have just opened my own Etsy store and I have been designing um, planner inserts so printable planners that you can print at home instant download pdfs in various different sizes to suit all of your favorite planners so if you love journals you love calendars you love planners um, beautiful ones you can check out my etsy store i will link it in the description below um, i would love your support on that one too i love uh, planners and inserts and things like that so i've been trying to design some really cute ones for you guys to print out at home so make sure you check out the link to that Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Thank you. Paul.